Predictions, predictions, predictions. We all hate doing them, but we all like to do them as well. Uh, 2015, we'll continue to see the compound growth that we've had for many years, 25% plus compound annual growth rates. Well, that'll continue in the industry for the foreseeable future because there's too many factors driving the industry for it to change dramatically. Uh, one of the big features of that will be consolidation amongst service providers, application developers and hardware manufacturers. That's been driven by a number of different things, both the provision of application development platforms and also the rise of the Uber provider, if you like, of hardware. So people like Calamp in the US is one example, there are a number over there, where they, they're providing a standardised piece of hardware to multiple vendors around the world who are able to then use it in a standardised application from, say, something like a position logic or another vendor. The reason for the, having these new application development platforms and the hardware as well is the guy that starts out as they always have traditionally and builds their own product, both hardware and software from scratch, is going to be behind the eight ball when it comes to cost, marketing, development times, getting to market in a reasonable period. The great things about all these application development platforms and the hardware as well is you can use them in different ways because the reality is 90% of, of applications in M2N consist of a piece of hardware a server and the communications and what the real, the secret source is what you know and how you make those things work. So we're going to see much more standardisation across the board on that. This year of course LTE will be the big product. We'll see, we'll start to see more and more devices in LTE which have been like hen's teeth so far and as the devices come down in price and become more standardised more applications will be written to take advantage of them both in high ARPU products and also in low ARPU products if we can overcome the challenge of carriers deciding that LTE and 4G always has to use gigabytes of data. In terms of verticals, the number, there's a number of verticals that will continue to grow at pace during this period. Uh, UBR, usage-based insurance, will finally, I think, in, uh, in Australia and not uh, particularly hit the market in a big way. Nearly all the insurance companies have been testing and playing with this it's probably time that some of them actually released into the market and I think consumers are getting used to the idea that it's going to happen and there's been a lot of articles around it. So we should start to see a lot of UBI this year. We should start to see a lot more health related applications as companies get on board the health kit revolution fostered by Apple and others and a lot of consumer applications in wearables go out there and there'll be a fight over you know, who's going to be the, the uh, the overall application that hosts and consolidates that data for everybody individually. The other things like vehicle tracking and, uh, and business to business applications in asset monitoring and the like will continue to grow consistently as I said before at that 20 points plus uh, sort of rate. We'll see them continue to grow and continue to do well but we will see much more consolidation amongst the players as people go into both buyouts and also when they choose to upgrade to the next version of their product if they're an existing player many of them will choose to buy a standardized product. So 2015, let's go.